Hey guys, welcome back to Artisan Belly. This is a modded series where we can only sell artisan goods, and we've just put a bunch of mods on here so we just play the game. Um, it, that's, I didn't want to look at the weather. I wanted to look at this. Adventurers Guild, Slaying Monsters, cool. Say hi to the cat. Uh, ooh, tea's ready. Nope, that's a strawberry. Strawberries are ready. I've been thinking of doing is maybe splitting up some of the kegs so like we can have another set going somewhere that'll do like strawberries and pumpkins and stuff so we have just a we'll see what happens lot and then we'll have like a this is gonna make us money lot um obviously that does mean we need to get a bunch more stuff to make kegs which we need I think we're short on ore, but we're also short on tappers. I think we have like 250 strawberries. Or something close to that. Definitely over 200. 259, 258 strawberries. That's pretty decent. I installed the, the sea fish mod so we can like see where we need to fish and stuff. Um, I think it's called Visible Fish. I installed that because it... How am I to find a new fish if I don't know where I need to fish to find a new fish? And now that I can see the fish, I can be like, whoa, that's a new fish, I need to fish there. That's my thinking, at least. Is it new? I've never seen this before, what is it? I'm curious. Um, we also need more hardwood to build a horse um, stable. Um, hello? Is that because I touched this? Weird things are happening. It is two! You touched that and those float by. Interesting. I have it. I have the sweet taste. Yay! Oh, I need to click on it again. You found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of wine. Your maximum energy has increased. Let's go. Why does this feel like it should lead somewhere? That should lead somewhere. That feels like it should lead somewhere. How do I make that lead somewhere? Probably need to install more mods. Off duty today. Are the bus things work? Hey, it's working again. We need to do the mine carts for rich side too oh hello let's have some friendship with abigail we just it doesn't help that my music's off because usually you hear the music playing but it's not playing because my music's off i'm looking at the fishes to see if there are new ones in there but there isn't new ones my tears, noisy. Hi, Abigail. Why are you out here in the rain? Just doing some work, enjoying the weather. I could actually enjoying the weather. Yeah, I guess you'd be one to appreciate the sombre ambience. I come here to spend some time alone. Oh, and we're interrupting. But I don't mind your company. You're getting soaked. Come stand under the tree. It's impossible to describe this feeling watching the curtain of rain whisper above the silent lake. I play the harp. That's pretty cool. Hey, a mini harp. You're full of surprises, Lion. I'm impressed. Why is it 
What's that? Why does it look so weird? It looks kind of like a dog and I'm confused. No, that's a catfish. Uh, all you're going to give me is catfish? No, please, come on. Give me the other fish. Uh, I, I might need a bobber to catch this guy. Yeah. What fishing rod do I have? Yeah, I should level up my fishing rod. And maybe buy, like, a trapper bobber. Because that guy's a bully. No, but I need to I, uh, I need to level up my fishing. What we're going to do is we're going to go fish up trash, which is not going to level up my fishing, but I need it for my weekly quest. So we're going to fish in here. All right, last little thing, and then we definitely have to go to bed because we're feeling exhausted. Oh, that was an accident. Oh, well, let's leave. Oh, uh, because we don't want to pass out tonight. Oh hey! In some fights, the best strategy is to treat you know your exits. Why do you not like cheese? Everybody likes cheese. I was gonna give you cheese. Pierre's birthday. I should probably give him a birthday gift. Ooh, Clint sent me fashion flower seeds. Summer. We'll chuck those in the chest. I was thinking we should accept the the quest like of this that gives us the Geo Crusher, Geode Crusher, and then we can just chuck that um, next to a chest full of geodes, and it'll just open them all for us, which would be nice and super cool. And who knows? We might end up ooh a new chicken hatched. That's our boy chicken. Let's call him Wormu. Wormu. Everything's making mint. Pickled mint, ground mint, dried mint, still crystal fruit for some reason. Cotton ball juice and mint juice. Everything's making mint. Although that's making great. But that's the reason it's making mint is because we have 900 mint. This cargo is an interesting thing to get from a mystery box, I think. Uh, both of them would be useful, but I don't... Let's go iridium pickaxe, because then we can get more iridium to get an iridium axe. It also means we can't go mining for the next few days. Oh, hello. Hmm, fascinating. Ah, Miss Lion, I'm just taking a gander at the wonderful minerals, gems, and artifacts you've donated. There's a great many mysteries waiting to be explored in this very room. It looks so bad. I need to organise it. All of this was possible because of your efforts. With the knowledge we've gained from these treasures, we can now ask ourselves the question. What is the history of Stardew Valley? Other civilizations once existed here. Magic at every corner. A violent past. There isn't enough for me to come to a conclusion. Um, other civilizations. Yes, several civilizations lived in this valley many years, many hundreds of years ago. Elves, dwarves, void spirits. I'm determined to unravel the mystery surrounding these ancient societies. No matter how you look at it, Stardew Valley is a magical place with sacred importance. Together, we will make a discovery that will change the world. More cutscenes. Stop telling me how to live my life. Mm. Hey, cut it out. We're letting you live here free of charge until you finish school. It seems like you don't appreciate that at all. I feel like... Stop trying to make me feel guilty. I appreciate that you and Dad are helping me out, but expecting me to dress the way you want is ridiculous. I'm not a little girl anymore, Mom. I feel uncomfortable. You're right. I'm sorry. Is someone there? I swear this house is haunted. No, just your good old farm pal being a creep. It's about time I'm starting to get the shakes. I want this fish so bad. Mm. 
Punch. Hmm. Now that's good. Thanks, Lion. Happy birthday. Coco! I'm buying it. I didn't even look at the price. Avocado? I want that. How do I know if I've already brought the tree or not? Well, it's a summer tree, which means I haven't brought it. Um, I will come back and I will buy one of every tree, but I will also make a list of the trees I already own first. Just knock my water bottle over. Um, before I do that. Where's Emily? I've got a bunch of rocks to give her. She's at her house. Cool. I almost tried to skip Emily's cutscene again. Come on, come in line. I want to show you something. It's a storm where she dances for me. It's my secret hobby. I've been practicing for months. Now sit back, relax, and allow yourself to be carried away to a better place, okay? Is there going to be no music because my music's turned off? Yep. This is awkward. So, gasp, what did you think? That was amazing, that's embarrassing. Say nothing and do a slow cap. That was amazing! Thank you. Phew, that was quite a workout. I haven't been this sweaty since I ordered pepper platter at Abigail's graduation fiesta. Well, I better take a shower. Thanks for watching. I just came here to drop off some rocks. Don't tell anyone about the dance, it was for your eyes only. Ah, uh, okay, I won't put it in a YouTube video that everybody sees. Oh, someone's coming up with me. That's cool. I think they were actually going down. Ah, yes. Oh, I forgot to pick up the rest of the... um spiritual essences that I was meant to bring. Look at me! I'm clearing out quests finally. I forgot Emily wanted a Jojo Cola. This... This is adequate. Here's your payment. Now if you'll excuse me, I bring you this. Marvelous work line. Here's my payment. Now if you'll excuse me. Hmm? What do you want? Uh, to be your friend? Do you like cheese? You do like cheese. Here you go. This is an adequate thing. Okay, you're welcome. Can I... Oh, I could have gone... Okay, no, you can only go out. Sure. Any fish in here? What's that fish? I don't think I've caught that fish. Ooh. Harvester trout. I haven't caught one of those. They look kind of cool. And spoopy. It's got a name for harvesting crops and plants that grow near water. This destructive play this destructive behavior has led to the fish being regarded as a pest. Despite this, it remains popular due to its tender oily meat. Let's put it in this little spot. Haha! How does that look? Weird? Yeah. Well. Cool. You're a summer. You're a spring. The only problem I have is I don't know what kind of order I want these to be. I'm just going to put this one here. Because uh, we could do two summer, two spring, two fall, two winter. Yeah. Two summer, two, two spring, two summer, two winter, two, two fall, two winter. Let's just do that. Um, I don't actually know how many trees there 
are. So I don't know how many I need. Am I not gonna make it to bed again? That'd be so funny. It's just not a thing that I do. It's it's just my brand now. I'm not making it to bed on time. Red plate. Interesting. Sewing machine. My store's business is booming. Thanks to you and the quality produce you supplied. I wanted to send you a special bonus. Thanks for things. When did I do that? must be just like one that happens. Emily for a Jojo Cola and a birthday present. And then we can go back to fishing. And that's all we're going to do today because we need to get the, um, the fishing done. I got a cocoa tree. I'm so excited for in a month when I can finally try um, making chocolate. A book! 20 cherry bombs. That seems scary. Friendship 101. You become friends with people a little bit faster. I learned a new power. That's pretty cool. That means Emily might get to eight hearts from her birthday present. I think she would have anyway. Olivia gets... Oh, that's why we had to give one more. I thought it was only five. Great. Everyone has their stone. Now close your eyes and take a, take slow, deep breaths. Focus on your lungs. Visualize the pure energy flowing into your body with every breath. And when you exhale, feel the tension and negative energy flow out, leaving you more and more relaxed with every breath. <coughs> now open your heart to the vibrational frequency of your stone. Do you feel anything? Nope. I do. Relaxed. Oh, Haley's asleep. Looks like the gemstones were put to good use. Doesn't open till 10. Why am I getting to everything 10 minutes before it opens? I've never seen Claire not doing anything but working the checkouts. Hi, Lion. Hello. Let's finish this. I'm going to go buy some bait and a bit of fishing rod. Oh, he's not open today, is he? He's not open today. Hey, what's that thing? There's a wiggly worm in here. That's probably the hard thing I can't catch. Surely I'm close. Yes, 15 to go. We can do that today and then we're done with it. We don't have to fish. The trash. We still have to fish. Finally! We did it! 10,000 gold! So I need that. Why? It's three people's birthdays today. Ready and pickaxes with the Anita Bird Sunnies. Look at all these birthdays. Well, so today is the day our spring fruit trees are ready over yonder to the far right. So we should go grab ourselves our one lemon and one lime that we can get from over there. Now I noticed that there's kind of like a cave here. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, Marlon. Hey there. Just got back from exploring the cave entrance. It's quite a sight down there, but I wouldn't recommend diving in just yet. It's pretty treacherous down there. There are whispers of ancient spirits wanting these depths and tales of lost treasures echoing through the caverns. It's a place where bravery is tested and mysteries abound. Still, I couldn't help but wonder about the treasures hidden deep within those caverns. Just a word of advice, before you dive into that cave, make sure you've got some experience under your belt. The last thing you want is to be caught off guard. Just remember, it's not all sunshine and rainbows down there. Watch your back for any nasty surprises. Anyway, I've got to dash. Take care. 
Huh. I don't have a pickaxe. So I can't go. <laughs> but I don't know what this lady does. <clears throat> and if she comes out of her house. I don't know how to give birthday present. She should be nurturing musical creations, whatever that means. I can't wait any longer. I actually had a loved gift for somebody for once. I can't give it to them. How long ago did I get told about this? I feel like it was a while, a while ago. Lion, you're here. Okay, I guess I better introduce my patients. Wish me luck. Did you make two how you feel about me statues? Um, okay, everyone. Thanks for coming to my art show. As some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from the beautiful surroundings. This place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm going to introduce my sculptures now. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human an 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 anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to completion. Her expression is intent intentionally unclear is she embarrassed amused pained i'll leave that for you to decide this one's called post-dimensional nuts nut null base it represents the boundary of human imagination the shape and color came to me vividly when i was in a trance state I've been calling this one Eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic humanoid statue to toy with the viewer's ability to properly attribute personalhood, personhood to a physical entity. And the last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebration of my favourite sculpturing material, wood. Well, those are my sculptures. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say special thanks to my say thanks to my special friend Lion. She gave me the idea for the show and the courage to go through with it. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Leah. Events like this really breathe life into our little town. I love your art, Leah. Post dimensional Nell space is my favorite. Thanks for doing this. I like to see the other villagers here. Who's Dish Guy? Exquisite art, Leah. Thanks, everyone. The Persian's mad. Now, let's start with the bidding of these wonderful art pieces. A marvellous addition to your home. You are here 50,000... <clears throat> 5,000 for the pink one. Just me and Lewis trying to make money. Mm hmm? Did Caroline forget about aerobics class today? Maybe she got caught up gardening in her greenhouse. Sorry about the locked door, ladies. Let's go work up a sweat. Aww, aerobics. She wants to participate. Oh, hello, Lane. I overheard some ladies in town. There's an aerobics class. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, they meet up once a week. Does it interest you? It's nothing. Does it interest you? Um, it actually does a little. Your community has so much personality. A very different feeling from my home in the countryside. So she doesn't live in Zuzu. There are many people there. You should get more involved here. Sounds like a peaceful life. You should get more involved here. Oh, um. Oh, no. I don't know. I'm just an outsider. Um, give it a chance. I'll think about it. Well, I'm going to finish reading this screenplay before my break is over. It was a pleasure talking to you. Oh yeah, go clear. Do some aerobics.
Yay! Iridium pickaxe. Ooh. A gathering of the children. So you're a princess turned prince, Sean. Sean? I think that is one way to put it, Trini. Yeah, I guess so. A handsome prince too, right? Your head's full of air again. Do you, you already know about this, boy? Why, of course. Sean told me about him being a girl turned boy before when we were fishing at, at the ridge. I love this airhead hunk of a best friend no matter what. Hey, come on, Blair. No fair, I don't know how to react to that. Sean, question. How did you know? Was it weird at the start? That's a kind of interesting character to have. I guess so. It's more like I felt like I was supposed to be someone else. You guys know what a cocoon is, right? Oh, I know that. A cocoon... Oh, not a cocoon. A cocoon? A cocoon is a bird, right? A cocoon? A co... Cocoon bird? Cocoon? Cocoon? No, silly. I think you mean cuckoo bird. Cocoon... Cocoon is a beautiful butterfly. Cuckoo coo. It's something like that. So it just feels like I was stuck in a... All the time when I was still girl, Sean. Then I finally figured out that I was actually boy Sean and I felt so free like a caterpillar turned into a butterfly. Does it mean to say cocoon? I'm so confused. Hey, a lion. Oh, we were blocking the way. Hello, lion. Hey, uh. Did you hear that, lion? Sean here is a butterfly and a majestic one at that. Cute. Hey, now that we have our questions out of the way, can we play Castles and Dragons now? Yay, let's go! I'll be the queen. Sure and I will be the wizards. I'll be the knight. And I'll be the dragon. Hey, we have no princesses. Can I be the princess then? Cute. You can be whoever you want to be. Awesome. Now I'll just kidnap the princess. Rawr. That's cute. Oh. I don't think it was... I think I had to get the cutscene before I used it. I think it's done. Good job, everyone. Well, that was a tough gig. Hey there, Lenny and Lion. We just finished restoring the old ridgeside mine minecart system. Well, that sounds great. Oh, woohoo. Well, it wouldn't have been possible without Lion. Great job, Lion. Oh, Lenny, we've also fixed up the other minecart over by Nightingale Orchard. This should make it easier for the Lindens to get around. That's fantastic news. Thank you so much, Robin Clinton Ian. No problem, Lenny. I'm glad it's finally fixed. It's been a while since I worked on something that wasn't another tool upgrade. I'm just happy to get another gig. Don't worry, Ian. I got more lined up. Thanks again, everyone. What did, what happened? Hello there, ma'am. Oh, hi, Lion. Beautiful day, huh? If you're not too busy, would you come join us for a bit? Sure. Great. Come on over. The turtle doesn't like me. He tries to bite me. Whispers, hey, um, would you mind trying to play with you more a bit? He can be a bit shy, but I think it means a lot if, to him if to have someone else join in. Hello. Yuma, why don't you introduce Lion to your friend? Okay, um, this guy's name is Torts. He's a... Calico Ridgeback Tortoise and he eats mostly leaves and fruits. Since he doesn't have an owner, Miss Lenny asked me and the other kids to help take care of him. She says he's too old, so old, that he lived in this town even when she moved here. Did you know some species of giant tortoises can live to be over 100 years old in the wild and nearly 200 years old in captivity? Stares at you. 
tortoises and a giant tortoise though so i don't think he's that old but i think he's at least older than my parents definitely older than she shiro <laughs> why does it feel like an insult <laughs> uh, don't hurt me oh he really doesn't like me there there torts don't be offended torts can be a bit distrustful around strangers just give him time well, a lot of time. He's a tortoise after all. Oh my goodness. Another one. Did I make friends somehow? Is it because it's the last day of spring? I still can't believe that Neat Nick, be that Neat Nick benefactor also paid for the beautification of the plaza. Your friends are quite something, Maeve. Ahem, that's Madam Maeve to you, Lenny. And yes, I was quite surprised by the offer as well. But I'm always an advocate for whatever's best for the village and the community. We we even partnered with a Rin, a Rin constructions a talented con con contractor for all this to be done as soon as possible though i was not expecting everything to be ready overnight their service is superb indeed and it's heartwarming to see everyone enjoy the new plaza this ought to bring more guests to the village i see everyone that i want to give gifts to oh i sure hope so although more tourists means more paperwork for me Still as lazy as ever. You can do it, Lenny. Well, buckle up, buckaroo! Haha! -ha. I ran the long way around to get to you. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Have you met young Amurthine? He can be quite difficult, but don't take his word seriously. He's a child after all. I don't know how to say his name. So, probably not. But I've met everyone, so probably yes. I'm not going to get to give Annette, uh, Annette her birthday present, so I might as well wait here to give you yours. Right? That's how that works, right? What a good use of my time. A birthday! You forage, you can make a quick buck selling stuff you find in the woods if, if you need. Just don't go trying to sell some poisonous mushrooms or nothing. Yes, sir. I always do nothing with my last days. It's crazy how that always ends up happening like that. Look, our trees are growing. Oh, they had two ready. Two lemons and two lime. I could sell one of each. I recommend purchasing Joe stocks. They just keep on climbing. This is delightful. Oh, you don't invest? It's a shame. I invest in my future. Invest in myself. But I will sell one of each, even though that's all I'm going to get from them. All our plants are going to die. I didn't say I had the animals today. Thanks for the fish. Oh, my birthday's on the same as that, guys. The Jojo CEO person. This is a sad farm to stand in to say bye. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day, night, wherever it may be for you. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!